Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We're jumping in again. We're going to play it as Mastema, Tainted Mastema again. I played as in last uh, episode and we had a really just rough run all the way through. Um, but I kind of understand the character a little more now um, and I, I'm hoping for a little bit better luck on our item rooms. I guess we used up all our luck on the first non-Tainted Mastema run uh, because this one... Oh wow, okay, that was a good hit, sir. That was a good hit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold R on this bad boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want a half decent start, not an item that I will literally never use. Because <laughs> that's what I got last time, and it annoyed me. And now we're not on a streak, I can hold R safely. And be proud of it. But yeah, this is one of the reasons that I don't, I haven't been playing the modded characters on streaks, because things can just go so wrong as them so easily. That last run had some good stuff about it, but it was still bad. I love it when, like, a spider like that there, I shot right at it and it just keeps walking straight past you. It's like, nah, don't care. I don't care for your shenanigans. Nice. Soul of Bethany, I'll pop that. Why not? Okay. Keep going back to our item room and hope it's something actually good. Yeah, I want to be going to Devil Deal rather than Angel Deal this time around as well, because Devil Deals are a lot, a lot more useful. Good stuff. Dude. No. I'm sorry, but no. Give me something better than that. That's more like it. <laughs> Little Lamb's terrible, but I love him. That's more like it too. Okay. Okay. We've built something. We've built something. Little lamb scary but useful. Having unlimited bombs is very, very nice. But I will hurt myself using little lamb many a time, I'm sure. The problem with him is if you get too many other familiars in the lineup, he becomes really hard to aim. So, my idea is here, unless we get some really good familiars, we don't want to take familiars, like, at all. Which is actually a good thing with this character, because there's a downside to taking items with him, so... If there's a, like, brother Bobby that we don't want, like, it's gonna cost us a broken heart anyways, so... Not worth taking. You two want to calm down, you shysters. Good, good. Right, let's get both of our item rooms out the way back to back there. That was nice. And then secret room here, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing else want to see this floor, I don't think. Unfortunately, with our low luck, little horn shots will be somewhat rare, but not crazy rare. And then here we get consolation prize. That'll give us fire rate, I think. Yes, it will. Very worthwhile. Unfortunately, because this is an XL floor, this, is, this isn't going to give us minus two broken hearts in the next floor. It'll still only be minus one, so we do lose the ability to remove one broken heart because of this. Good. Um, we'll take that. Damage up. And then... Let's take that as well. And let's do a gamble and, and trade two black hearts away. One. Two. There you go. Cool, and down to the next floor. I feel like this is a lot better than previous. Our health is obviously not in a good spot, but I kind of knew that already. Also, now we don't have to do Boshra because we did Boshra the last episode. Don't have to worry about that. I'm going to bomb in here to sleep in the bed and hopefully get some soul hearts. Beautiful. That helps a lot. 
Makes me feel a hell of a lot better. Ooh, mega chest. We'll see if we can get enough keys for that. Insta kill on that bad boy. Ooh, little bat boys bouncing around like crazy. Got you as well. Have I done Question of the Day this episode? I don't think I have, have I? Question of the Day. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What's a good one? I asked about cereal last time. Um. If you could only drink one soft drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh. Okay. I know it's look affected, so it's not great, but... Nice. Oh, dude. I can't with these guys. I'm stuck! <laughs> Let me out! <laughs> Hill, I'll take. Speed up is lovely. Extra damage and aggressive homing. Lose all your money spawn, a proportional number of pickups. Uh, okay, let's let's try and get ourselves up to a good amount of money before we use this. Ask, and you shall receive, apparently. Um, yes, please. Unicorn stump isn't something I want anyways, so that's fine. Well, that worked out pretty well. Pretty well indeed. I was like, oh, let's wait for more money. And the game was like, oh, you asked for more money? Okay. Here it is, literally in the very next room. Tears down is very bad. Julio, Julio. That, I don't know what that does. I think that's just a one room effect. I don't think that lasts any more than a single room. Full heart there. Bit of extra herming there. Okay, this, this run's already a lot more enjoyable for me. Extra soul heart of that guy. Wow. Not that we need it, but thank you nonetheless. Oh, God. These mushroom guys are so fast. Okay. Um, ready to go. I'm liking this trinket too. It seems to be proccing pretty often considering we've got minus luck. Like I said, I think having below zero luck, the only thing that it makes... The only thing that it affects realistically is it, it makes it harder to get to positive luck. But it doesn't... Having negative luck is no different than having zero luck, I don't think. Um, supper, unfortunately, doesn't do anything for us. Um, take it, I guess. And then to the next floor once again. Okay, so conquest. I'm liking the 3D glasses here because it's um, creating more opportunity for our uh, little horn shots. Which is really nice. Good. Eh. Don't need that really. Actually, wait, what does what does that do again? Ah, it's not the one that opens everything. I'm thinking of the get out of jail free card, I think. The one that opens all the doors for free. Lovely. Extra key, thank you. At the minute, we're at the broken heart stage where it's like we don't really want to take too much extra stuff if we can help it. I'm not completely adverse to taking a good item if it comes along. Lovely. Hey, half soul heart. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed to fill up our HP. Thank you. Now, luckily, Little Lamb, we've not had too much trouble with him yet. It's because we're able to just leave him on charge. And, like, just use him when we're in a safe spot to, and then not release otherwise. 
Are you... For a small guy, you got a lot of HP, I gotta tell you. I'm just clearing out the rocks. Oh my god, so many clouds. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, see, like situations like that, it's super useful. Yeah, these guys aren't really that big of a problem at all either. Double hearts there as well. Lovely. Oh, see, that that's the situation where it fucks you up. I was like, okay, I'm clear to use it. I didn't realize there was a rock right in front of me. That's the situation where it really screws you and you just don't see that there's a rock. Ooh, I love all these guys being champions. That looks awesome. Well, they're all dead now, though. Got a lot of health about here. This guy's been an absolute piece of shit. Really hard to kill. Don't need that soul heart, obviously. Um, still looking for the item room, which I'm hoping is just here. Not. Okay, we have to go all the way back. It's okay. We haven't found secret room yet either, so we could look for that. That's not secret room. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm getting pretty hungry. Realize oh no, I have found secret room. Stupid. Um, I've realized I haven't eaten in a while. I'm pretty sure with this character I can use sack rooms to get rid of um, get rid of broken hearts as well. I'm going to try that. That didn't do anything, so maybe not. I thought you could. Maybe it's just a 50, like a 50% chance and I got unlucky. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do one more play on it just to make sure. Okay, that did work. Okay, cool. Then we'll do one more. Yeah, okay. That did work. I had a feeling it did. It must just be a 50% chance. Right, then we can take both of these, and then there's that other soul heart in the other room back there. Dude, where's that goddamn item room? This is getting a bit ridiculous. Die, heathens. These flies are annoying the hell out of me. Come on, item room. Be, please be through here. Oh, it's not even through here. God damn it. Oh, dude. Oh, my God, no. It was such bad hits back to back there. I'll hold on to that. I'm not going to use it yet. I'll hold on to it. It's basically a sanguine spikes, but portable. Good, good. Take care of you, you little champion fuck. That explosion on you, that was lovely. Okay, are we good? Nope, there's still one left. Somehow. There you go. Right. Was this worth the trip? Not even fucking remotely. Right. That, that's worth it. That's worth it. That's pretty good. So it was, it was worth the trip in the end. Okay, I'm happy now. Back we go. I'm gonna check the shop as well for a soul heart, because why not? If I get the sanguine spikes, I can use them a little more. There you go. Car battery's very nice. Do like a bit of car battery. I'm going to quickly check for secret room here, and um, I don't think it can be anywhere here. Oh, for fuck's sake. I always forget you can't hurt this boss as he spawns in. And I always use my active or like biggest attack on him or card or whatever right at the start of the room, and I'm like, oh shit, I've been fooled. Oh dude, I forget he shoots shots while he does this.
Oh, dude, this amount of hands that just hit him then. Can we stop doing this attack, please? I can't dodge that. Come on now. Right, what we got going on in here? Item-wise, we haven't got much going on. I will do this twice. Didn't get anything from it, sadly. Not feeling particularly enthused about our current HP and situation. I was hoping the Devil Deal and all that would be a lot better there. It were not. Little lamb. It's not what I want you to do at all. Come on, pill. Body energy doesn't do too much for us. At least poisons you. Ah, <sighs> okay. It's becoming another one of those runs. It started out really sort of positive, but we've just not got anything good in a while and it's starting to miss the mark. Lamb, I can't believe you. I keep accidentally letting go at the worst possible time. You're a little shit sometimes, you know that. He knows that he does it on purpose. He loves it. Oh, dude, this guy keeps dodging my fucking um, little horn shots. Stop. Okay, good. Oh, my God. I had so much health last floor as well, and it's all gone to shit. Stop using little lamb for damage, you fool. Every time I do it, it's a bad idea. I'm so tempted, though. That's pretty good. I'll take a little heretic. I don't think that gives us anything, but I'll pop it. Okay. How are we feeling at the minute? Not great, I think. Not great. Oh, that hit me? Okay, okay. I thought I was out of the radius of that, but sadly, I was not. All good there. Oh, soul heart. Super, super, super necessary right there. Thank you. We needed it. Kind of an interesting room, this. Luckily, not too hard. Ah, oh, as if he spawned a hearst. Always happens. Oh! I did not know what that shot was. I don't think I've ever seen these guys shoot before. I love the fact that we've got a little horn here. When it actually hits, it's helping out a ton. Fortunately, it doesn't hit as much as I'd want it to. A little heretic here as well is really nice. Oh my god, I got hit again! Fuck these stupid cross shooty bitches! I hate them. Get out of here. Champion belt, I'll take. Damage still isn't amazing though. Good, we've seen our item room already here. Good to go. Fortunately, don't know how well this is going to go. I think with our ability to slap him with a hand, it's not so bad. Unfortunately, no hand shots are coming out now, even though we get billions of them normally. Ah, oh, dude, we're getting really bad boss items as well. That's annoying. Paralysis. Okay, no, that—that's pretty goddamn good. Okay, I can—I can be a little, 
be a little more happy now that this has just basically given us our life back. That was rather nice. Dude, every goddamn time it creates a hearst. And we can pop this speed up as well. Rather nice. Don't know how I completely missed that. I think this is better. It's got more longevity to it, I think. Oh god. Uh, I think this is worth it, but otherwise I don't think any of them, any of the other ones are. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this for now. Keep the heart capsule. Basically a usable soul heart once we've uh, lost one. I'll just hold it. And I've got another one down there if I need it. Stay away from the lemon heads. Make sure to use our guppy's head all the time. Whenever it's free. I could also tap shoot to stop uh, little lammy going crazy. That would also be probably a slightly better way of doing things, actually. And I want to have the sort of option to fire him when I wanted to, which is probably going to save me. Good. Nothing much in there. I'm just in a, in a stressful mode right now, so I apologise if the commentary isn't as tippity-top as it normally would be. I really want to win this run, but I'm just feeling like... I don't know, I'm feeling like I'm sort of wading against the tide right now. It's not, it's not going so hot. We've seen the item room, we're all good on that front. I love that you can insta-kill those guys with the hand. Very, very nice. Even though they're invincible, it's like, nope, I'm just going to eat right through that invincibility. Another speed up, gotta love that. Didn't realize this was mum, but it's fine. I always pick wrong with where she's going to peek her, her limbs out of. I always pick left, and it's never left. I wish her foot took more damage. Feels like it's like, good to prioritize the foot, but it doesn't, like, there's no reason to. It's pretty quick and simple kill here, though. No real threat to us. Hoping not to take any damage. Come on. I love it when she does this. She's just like, nah, I'm not going to attack you. I'm going to let you simmer. I'm going to go light path again. We'll check boss rush, but there's realistically no reason to do it unless it's a god tier item, and there is not. So down we go. And the heart capsule gives us a heart back. Hey, you only throw out one baby. Oh no, two. We've got 17 keys. I don't really care about picking up the extra key pickups there. You guys are going to be a little bit of a nightmare, aren't you? Oh, there's a fucking spider there. God damn it, I didn't see that spider. A little bit bullshit. There's so much stuff in this room now. What the fuck, dudes? These bosses have so much health now as well. What the hell? Or, or either that or I just have really low damage, which is probably more so the case. What the fuck just happened with that bomb fly? It just flew right at me. That's not how they work. 
The reworked version of this boss in very good when it's in a room with two of them. That was horrible. That was genuinely awful. Lost two hearts in that room for no good reason. There's a room we didn't even need to go in. That's the worst part about it. Oh, what? The exact same thing that happened last run is happening this run. Just get to the womb and just shit the bed. Literally. Oh my god. I can't play this cat. It's, it's just, again, we've got to the womb. We're just like, our items are just kind of not great. Like, we've got some okay stuff going on, but our fire rate is still really low. Our damage is not great. Uh, because we don't have any luck, we, we're not getting Little Horn as much as we like. It's like, ugh. It's not a terrible run by any means. It's got some good stuff going on with it, but... Just a bit meh. And it doesn't help when every fucking which wrong way we can go. Why is the womb like this? Why do you always have to end up going the wrong way? I wish there was a mod that just gave you mapping on the womb always. <laughs> I would 100% download that. Oh god, this is a... Very gross looking room. I really, yeah, these enemies are very odd. Okay. Oh, wrong way again. Not be able to one shot those guys with Travis. Also, the, the amount of money from that chest. I mean, I don't need the money, so I'm not going to pick it all up, but that's crazy. What? You- what? What? You can jump on me while I'm over the gap? How? Okay. This is just another failed run. This is- th this character is not made for streaking at all. I've never had such a hard time with this guy before. At the minute, I'm just n not able. I just can't. Apparently getting to the womb as this guy is just- it's it for me. Like- I guess it's just because you get a lot less items over the course of a run because you have to play around with your uh, broken heart so much, but goddamn, he's really tough. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.